Hi, I'm acoustic guitar editor Scott Nygaard, here to play the musical examples for this edition of Weekly Workout, which features some exercises that will help you gain more control over your flat pick. Few people who play guitar with a flat pick think much about how best to hold the pick or move the picking hand when they first pick up the guitar. But at some point, most players find that there are things their picks don't want to do, and that it will be helpful to have more control over the pick. In these workouts, we won't get into how to hold the pick, that's generally a topic best tackled with the help of a good teacher. But we'll give you some exercises you can use to work on controlling your pick. When playing through these workouts, I suggest you be strict about alternate picking, in which consecutive eighth notes are played with alternating down and up strokes. This will allow you to get the most benefit from these exercises, which are designed to help you work on very specific pick movements. In the first workouts, we'll hold down a simple open position chord, G or E, so you can concentrate on your pick's movement and not your fretting hand. Week one's workout starts with a simple exercise that moves the pick across an increasing number of strings, a four note pattern that alternates down, up, down pick strokes on the sixth string, with up strokes on the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first strings, and then works its way back down. In the second half of week one, the four note pattern starts with down up strokes on the first string, followed by a down stroke on the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth strings, finishing the four note pattern with an up stroke on the first string. I've set these two exercises up so that your pick is naturally moving in the direction it needs to go to get to the next string most easily. For example, in measures one through five, your pick moves down to a lower string after the second down stroke, while in measures 6 through 10, your pick moves up to a higher string after the first up stroke. Take these very slowly and work on producing clear notes. So here's week one. This week's workout begins with a variation on the first half of week one. It's important to get comfortable with these first exercises before moving too much further into the rest of the workouts, which will get progressively more difficult. Again, take it slowly and make sure you can play these exercises cleanly before moving on. Speed is not an issue here. The exercise in measures five through eight of week two continues with a similar pick movement, moving down to another string after a downstroke and up to another string after an upstroke. But the last exercise in this week's workout introduces the back pick, in which your pick has to reverse direction after playing the note. For example, after playing the B note on the fifth string at the beginning of measure nine, your pick has to jump back over the fifth string to reach the open E string with an upstroke. And then after playing the E string with an upstroke, it has to reverse direction to get the E note on the fourth string with a downstroke. Pretty tricky. So here's week two. One of the picking challenges you'll run into is how to approach musical figures based on groups of three notes with a two-stroke picking style. Week three begins with a three-note arpeggiated pattern that moves across the strings and includes a lot of back picking. The second exercise, measures four through six, 
has a similar cross-string arpeggio movement, but in groups of four notes, a basic arpeggiated accompaniment pattern. And the third exercise this week, measures 7 through 15, is a melodic pattern in 3-4 that requires a lot of backpicking. I've notated this pattern with some slurs, but try it first by picking each note. When you add the slurs, make sure you continue using strict alternate picking. The slurs take the place of a downstroke, so make sure your pick follows the slur with an upstroke or your picking will get flipped. Here's week three. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh.